So let's go ahead and start on the second part of, of unlike denominators. And the second part is that when we add in variables, in this time we're to having monomials. Notice that these variables are in the denominator and they have, um, they do not have rather, they do not have an add or a subtract. We're going to follow that same idea of create a common denominator. So how would I make a common denominator or how would I make 3x and x match? Well if I simply took x and I multiplied it by 3, then I would have 3x. So whatever I do in the denominator, I also have to do in the numerator of a fraction. So that I now have a common denominator of 3x. 3 times 1 is 3 plus and that would be a 7 because I didn't have to change the second fraction at all. And then I can combine like terms. 10 over 3x. Now not every problem works out quite that nicely or that pretty. So let's do one more together. In number 10, now we have that same 3x, but we would like to make a common denominator with the number 4. So 3x and 4. You could almost treat this as, okay, what would be the common denominator between 3 and 4? Hopefully you're thinking 12, because 3 is prime. So to change it into a 12, I would need to multiply the first fraction by 4, and I need to multiply the second fraction by 3. But my common denominator, that would give me a 12x and a 12. So hopefully it seems very obvious that not only do you have to multiply by 3, but you also have to multiply by x. Again, whatever I do in the denominator to make it match, I also have to do in the numerator. I have to multiply this numerator by 4. And I have to multiply this numerator by 3x. And since it's a positive, I don't have to worry about that negative sign. So now, I keep my common denominator of 12x, my numerator, the first one, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3x times 3, well that's a 9x. And then we'll just clean this up so that we have descending powers of x, 9x plus 4 over 12x. It's technically a heart problem, right? 9x plus 4 is a quantity. So unless I can undistribute something, I can't simplify any further. So I'm done. Would you please give problem number 9 a try and then come back and check your work? Hopefully you had no troubles and you found that the common denominator was 10x. You did your multiplications, no problem. You combined like terms. And since 3x minus 19 is technically a quantity, you would have to be able to undistribute something and you can't. So there's no simplifying in this particular problem. Now I want to put the next part in a whole separate video. So the first video was about numbers in the denominator. The second video that we just finished was about denominators that have a monomial with variables. The next one will be out about binomials in the denominator.